Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the first day of March 2023. Congratulations and Happy New Month! Welcome to a month where God is starting with us with good and perfect gifts. Hallelujah! In this month, you would sing your song and you would dance your dance in Jesus' name. Our topic for today is the source of good and perfect gifts. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, our God and our King, the giver of all good and perfect gifts, we exalt your holy name. We thank you for the good and perfect gift of this brand new month that you've let us see. We are grateful. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. We have come before you today again, Lord, to hear you speak to us. We ask that beyond words, you would instruct our hearts. Guide us in the way that we should go and let your word lead us into the abundance of your good and perfect gifts for us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of James chapter 1 verse 17. James 1 verse 17 reads, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. James chapter 1 verse 17. And our text for today is from the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Luke chapter 6 verse 38 reads, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye met withal, it shall be measured to you again. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're welcome back. Once again, our topic for today is the source of good and perfect gifts. And in the body of our devotional for today, our Father and the Lord says to us that everything you see on earth originates from God. Even those that were manufactured by man this means that God is in control of all resources on earth. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Whatever anyone has was given to him or her by God. That uncle you are depending on to help you pay your school fees is only a vessel in the hands of God. He is not your provider. If your hope is in him, and he were to lose his source of livelihood tomorrow, what would you do? Man cannot be depended on at all. Only God can provide for you in any situation or circumstance. Jeremiah 17 verse 5 reads, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Every good and perfect gift comes from God, James chapter 1 verse 17. Put your trust in him for the provision of all your needs and you will see him meeting them one after the other. Before you seek help from any human being, ask God. Talk to him and let him be the one to direct you to whoever he has ordained to help you. David understood this, so he said, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Psalm 1 to 1 from verse 1 to 2. What do you need to do to keep enjoying the provision of God? Be generous. If you are stingy, remember that you will receive in the same measure you give. Jesus taught us in Luke chapter 6 verse 38 that when you give, men will in turn give unto you. In other words, do not expect to receive if you don't give. This principle is simple and easy to understand. Give to the poor, Psalm 41 verse 1, to them that are of the household of God, Galatians chapter 6 verse 10, to the Lord, Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 9 to 10. Remember, God is your only source. 
and giving according to his will opens up avenues to receive good and perfect gifts from him. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is the source of good and perfect gifts. Before we continue, I'd like us to consider once again our topic. It says the source of good and perfect gifts. So the kind of gifts that we are referring to in today's study is not just one that comes from anywhere. We are referring to some specific kinds of gifts. Those gifts that are considered as good and not only good but also perfect. Now I want us to understand that a shirt would be considered as a perfect gift if it fits properly, if it looks good and great on you. So the kind of gifts that we talk about today are those that God has specifically made for you. You may want to call them custom made. He had you in mind when they were being crafted. He designed them specifically for you to fit into them. These are not gifts that would give you trouble. They are not gifts that would cause you concern. Remember scripture tells us in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 that the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it. His blessings are always perfect. We are also reassured in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 that he thinks good thoughts towards us. Hallelujah. Now why is it important that the Lord should be our source? We are made to understand from our study today that everything that we see on earth originates from him. John chapter 1 verse 3 tells us that all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In other words, anything that was ever created was created by the uncreated creator. They were all made by God himself. No wonder our Father and the Lord tells us today that instead of trusting in man, we must fix our gaze upon God as our source because there is absolutely no wisdom in trusting the creation over the creator himself. You know, our Father and the Lord makes us understand today that man cannot be depended on at all. And that is very true. In fact, man may be sincere and even desirous to help. But then he has his own limitations. He only plans, but God is the master planner. God is the architect of our lives and our destinies. Psalm 34 verse 4 tells us, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. This includes fears of all lack and want, the fears of all of our needs put together, the fears of how we would survive tomorrow, the fears of your house rent or your mortgage, the fears of surviving in an economy such as this without a job. The scripture says he delivered me from all my fears. Then verse 5 says they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Hallelujah! Not one man who has ever sought God looking unto him has been put to shame. In the same chapter, verse 9 tells us, O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Hallelujah! Those that fear him never suffer any kind of lack or want. Verse 10 says, The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. The young lions are supposed to be strong and agile. They are supposed to be very good hunters. Yet the scripture says that they do lack and suffer hunger. But then, they that seek the Lord will not only have their needs met, but they shall not want any good thing. Remember, we are still talking about good and perfect gifts. Hallelujah! Now we have been reassured that God is our source for all good and perfect gifts. The question now is, how can we receive these good and perfect gifts? Our Father and the Lord explains to us in today's study one very important spiritual principle and that is the principle of giving and receiving. Our Lord Jesus saying, Give and it shall be given unto you. But then this time around, it would be good measure, pressed down and shaken together. That would not be all. He says it would be running over. And our Father and the Lord explains to us today that you do not expect to receive if you don't give. You know, it looks logical to believe that when you withhold, you'd be able to save enough or store up enough for yourself. But the principles and the operations of the kingdom are quite different. That is why Proverbs chapter 11 verse 24 tells us that there is that scattereth and yet increaseth. It says, and there is that withholdeth more than is meet, but it tendeth to poverty. 
Verse 25 says that the liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. So to receive these good and perfect gifts, we learn from our study today that you must be a giver. This is because giving is a spiritual principle and an avenue to receiving. It is important to note, however, that when you give or when you sow, you do not receive in the same quantity. And our text for today reveals this to us. It says, first of all, that it would be a good measure, it would be pressed down, shaken together, then running over. When you plant a seed of corn, you'd be expecting a cob with many seeds. Harvests are often in more folds than you gave out. It is important we also note that through this scriptural principle of giving and receiving, we can strategically call into our lives specific blessings of the Lord. I remember our Father and the Lord always tell stories of giving some specific gifts and receiving multiple folds of the same gifts in return. If you give tithes, be set to receive multiple folds of the same. I will tell us a story to this effect. Some time ago, I realized that I needed a change of clothes. So I put together neatly my old clothes and I gave them out to one of the Hausa boys in the area. I knew it was well appreciated because I would often see my shirts on some of them when they come around. Not long after that, I began to receive surprises. I mean, gifts of clothes that I never expected. I'm not talking about one or two or probably even ten. In all honesty, I lost count of how many of them I received. I'm talking about good and quality clothes. Then I remember what our Father and the Lord always taught. So what is it that you are expecting too? What do you desperately need? What has been your heartfelt cry and desire? What is that miracle that you need in your life? Here is the way out. If you need a job, why not recommend others for any openings while you are still trusting God for yours? You are trusting God for financial breakthrough even out of the little you have. Give. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Rejoice at the sight of the children of others. Give to them good gifts and you'll be calling forth yours too. Are you trusting God for favor? Why not show someone else favor too? And you'd see how the heavens over you would be opened. We would bow our heads now and cry unto the Lord, be bringing that desire before him, would say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the source and the giver of all good and perfect gifts. Lord, rain down upon us today your good and perfect gifts in our lives in the name of Jesus. Begin to mention to the Lord, that specific need that you have, that place where you want him to supply that good and perfect gift, what it is that you need him to change, what it is that you need him to transform, that miracle that you desire of him. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, for me today I receive my good and perfect gift in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are trusting him for a miraculous breakthrough. You are trusting him for a car, a house. You are trusting him for a scholarship. Scripture says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. We have learned that no man can help. The Lord is the true source of every help. Say, Lord, today we look unto you from whence cometh our help. Help us, O Lord. Give unto us that good and that perfect gift, that specific gift that is an answer to our prayers in all ramifications, the gift that would fit us perfectly, made in heaven and delivered to us here on earth. Let it be our portion in the name of Jesus. Also ask the Lord today for the grace to follow the principles that we have learned about the principles of giving and receiving. Also ask the Lord today for even divine provisions. He is the one who provides seed to the sower. Say, Lord, let there be divine provision of seeds that we would sow that will in turn bring forth multiple harvests into our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless your name. We look unto you and not to any man. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Redeemer, we are grateful for your word today. Thank you for the outpour of your good and perfect gifts into our lives. We declare that we receive them and our lives never remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in our study today that tells us, when you have a need, look to God and not man for provision. We receive the grace today to trust wholeheartedly upon the Lord and to have our gaze fixed upon him now and always in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 26 down to chapter 27. Hallelujah. We also want to thank and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, 
please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 5 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing Blessed Assurance. Have a lovely day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.